Yeah, what's up? You know what? Uh, the fuck? I mean, that was scary. I always hear those sounds. I mean, I'm going to sleep and then all this whole stomping starts and shit like that. I mean, you know, cobwebs and all this weird shit starts starts to happen. I mean, I just got used to that. Uh, it started like really long time ago with all these weird noises and sounds all over the place. I mean, it's just irritating sometimes. But I mean, that's just weird. Uh, but whatever. Um, I was I was supposed to talk about something else. I mean, uh, the problem, the, the the question is that how serious am I about all this shit? I mean, except for the fun parts where I try to be like funny and shit, just to you know um, make the corners more smooth and stuff. I mean, I'm 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 very serious about what I do, just because I think I just um, realized that I don't feel any sense in things i don't have that much belief in uh, the the structure the social dynamics that are there like uh, the hierarchy of people and all that like the whole uh, ideologies and whatnot and and the belief that their countries uh, and all this shit i just i've lived in different places i've uh, changed three uh, uh three political structures and uh, social structures and and uh, the ways how people think and w which direction they're going and I realized that it's it's all just uh, you know it's just just people's insanity it's what they believe in that they grasp towards the reality when they are shallow they really try to grasp uh, towards something that is unifying them and so on and so forth uh, but uh, that's what how I see but because I'm a user I mean you know I use the system uh, and uh, I I give back only like taxes and shit but I don't give back any anything like um, uh, community wise and stuff like that I don't know what happened probably because I'm a foreigner like even in this country where I live I'm a foreigner I'm not like local uh, I was born in different place and uh, my local like my homeland where I was born in uh, they didn't accept me as such as well I was a foreigner also there and when I was living in a different place like uh, I was also a foreigner there so I'm a fucking foreigner like, everywhere where I go that's why probably I use a different language like you not know, my you not know, my mother tongue or whatever you call that shit uh, and uh, I use all those face masks and, and, and aliases and shit because I don't know who I am actually, like deep in the core, but I don't give a shit about that because I believe that I became everything and uh, that made me comfortable. Like I realized that I'm a 100, like a fucking total outsider and I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, what was this all about? I mean, I have a lot of resentment towards things that happen. Uh, I'm really trying to get uh, along with the history of art just to find some sort of uh, anchor uh, that will stab stabilize me as a being and uh, I would understand the social uh, structure that is happening because I, I, I seem to try to get as far away as possible from that and uh, I've been going through a lot of different changes like mentally and spiritually as well I've been doing a lot of practices, uh, 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 conventional, traditional tra practices like meditations and and whatnot, and I've been adding some other uh, other things that I uh, tried. I've been practicing since I was a kid. I've been doing a lot of left hand path stuff, really all these demonic, satanic things, a lot of it, and. Uh, well, I think that that made me a little bit insane at some point. I lost it. And, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, what's that, like mingle with it a little bit because, you know, it's just like there. I mean, I just tapped into it and it's now a part of my life and I can't do anything about it anymore. So I have to, I have to be grateful for that and I have to give it attention. So I still do that. I mean, like I read books and every now and then I just, uh, you know, do one or one, uh, one or two practices, like curse people and fucking you know, doom them for life. Yeah, you know, basic shit. 
uh, so don't fuck with me. That's that's just it. You know, I'm a good person in heart, but uh, I've been I've been treated bad many times. So I have a lot of resentment and hate towards well, you know people uh, as such. Uh, I'm working on it, but usually I just don't care at all because if you think about like I've, I mean, if you have eaten enough acid or just tripped a lot, then you would understand that this is just a dream, you know, just uh, some sort of a well, I don't know, you can treat reality uh, as you want. I mean, you can make it uh, your bitch, you can be a slave to it, you can ride it as a horse, <laughs> you do whatever you want to do. And uh, I became an artist. So was I the one who created this realm for myself and all of those people around me and just uh, did what happened to that? Uh, who knows? I don't. I, I really don't care about that. I used to have this uh, like ego trip back in the day, uh, but I mean, it just stopped because it was too much for me. I realized that I wouldn't be able to persuade anyone. I really wanted to make to have a cult back in the day, but I think it stopped the desire because I don't. I didn't find any people worth of it. Like seriously, who would have the worth to do that? Because usually people just, just they just really into, you know, mundane shit like groceries, fucking significant others, like work stuff and, you know, all that kind of shit. I mean, that's important, of course, but you just don't make your life about it. There are like much more important things to do. And uh, I'm not against it. I mean, you know, maybe there will be a day when I would just just you know dive deep into that and then just become this white color or blue color whatever you fucking call that shit and just you know just totally just switch myself into that but at the moment i'm a fanatic like i'm really uh devoted to that and i have this urges and I, sometimes i'm like yeah fuck yeah fuck yeah wow i'm an artist wow i need to do that you know and i just put on my makeup and look awesome and look at this fucking handkerchief it's a handkerchief by the way and yeah so i look swaggy sativa in the baggy uh you know there's this rapper prof i really i really like rap i really like rap music and the, the culture because it's yeah it comes from the criminal background and uh people of my nation uh, we have been praising this culture, like the whole criminal mindset that ha has always been a part of, of our culture. And, um, you know, it's just been, it's been an honor to, to, be, uh, to be a criminal. Like, uh, you, <laughs> you definitely have one in the family. <laughs> that's, the part of, uh, that's the part of my culture. So I believe that's just uh, some sort of a heritage that I have that I really adore uh, and uh, like the origins of, of rap music and uh, also the idea of uh, the people who are behind it and so on and so forth. So I try to give back to culture as much as possible. Like, of course, on a fanatic basis because I'm, I'm living in the fucking thousands of kilometers in the middle of a forest, uh, forest like uh, forest country and there's snow everywhere and the last, I mean, the last time I've seen a black person, yeah, we have some, we have some folk here, but I mean, they're just exchange, exchange students, they have nothing to do with the culture. And um, why I'm saying that is that, well, you know, it's still origin. Just, I, I don't want to go there because I really don't give a shit about it. I mean, I just use, you know, I just don't care about that at all. I mean, I come from a place where my nation, people of my, uh, origin they've been suppressed also so you know I've been I've been hearing a lot of things uh, towards my family and my dad and and me because of my surname and my origins and so on and so forth so you know I mean that that's just well you know that's shit uh, but I'm talking about who has been suppressed more or less it's just you know shit is shit you just you, you don't you don't fucking grade it. Maybe some people like to you know, give a flavor to it and be like, mm, 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 this shit tastes more shittier than the other shit. But I mean, you know, people in general are fucking crap. But back to rap, yo.
uh, I really like that that thing I've been practicing myself. I do it on a, on a like a, as a hobby. I try to uh, make some instrumentals and shit and try to rap on top of it. I like to do the experimental part because you know what am I to that culture? I mean, first of all, like um, yeah, I didn't take that much sunbathing uh, first. And uh, second, uh, <laughs> as I said, <laughs> the origin of my culture is a little bit different. We don't have that thing. We have uh, we have other stuff. We have other stuff. Mountains and fucking <laughs> the savage-looking people and really, really worshiping God and fighting. That was that pretty much for lot of centuries so yeah my heritage is very rich in that sense but nah it's okay I mean you know you can read about it if you want to it doesn't matter but yeah rap so that's the that thing is um, it's easy in sense of music and uh, you know, it's just I like the the rhythm and the whole idea behind it. I don't want to corner myself. I think I did it already, but as I said earlier, there's there's only that much that I care about is that how well I draw. Everything else, I just don't give a shit about it, like really. And um, uh, but I really like rap music, and I have a lot of favorite rappers. Whom I listen to and I really like their music and what they talk about, even they, if they say really stupid, stupid shit, like <laughs> it doesn't matter. I just like the way how they put the words together. I'm not gonna talk like I'm not gonna even you know start like listing the names. I mean, uh, with some I'm uh, in touch with, like I, I can write to them and I know that they read that and it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just that. I have respect to people and there's not that much people that I listen to like uh, music wise uh, like from the modern scene but those whom I listen to I you know they know about my existence and I and I know about <laughs> their existence which is pretty cool and I really appreciate that and I really respect that so yeah uh, but my um, what's that like, uh, what's the word for that? Where you get the, in, not the influence, but you know, the muse from, like you listen to something and you, oh yeah, inspiration, that one. So yeah, I got inspired from different things. I tried to find experimental music from the early 70s. I don't, I cannot even name all the names. I have no idea who the fuck are those people. I, I really did just some Italian people, fuck, I don't know. Some electronic music stuff. <laughs> Just YouTube that shit, like electronic music in 1970, and you find some shit. That's how I do it. Some jazz shit, whatever, or early stuff, experimental stuff. I just just type in experimental music, and it just comes out. Then I just get inspired. I'm just so 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 inspired. But I'm not a musician like at all. <laughs> like I have no idea. My grandma, yeah, she graduated from the conservatory yeah so she's this professional musician and um, I think I only have one one uh, acquaintance who is uh, who's a professional musician I mean like you know with a degree and work in doing some music stuff in the well you know with the serious people like like I respect him a lot uh, and uh, yeah so we live in the same city but uh, you know uh, otherwise it's a hobby for me and uh, I don't know much about music as such so I just I just do it really as a big hobby and I find I find that stuff there and with art I just try to be as professional as possible and um, you know some things happen some things don't uh, but I think that's why I chose uh, rap as a medium, like hip hop rap. I don't know. Just it, I think there is a big difference, or, or slight difference, or at least there's a difference. 
I've been trying to, to mingle with other genres in the same rhythmic uh, thing, like uh, with the uh, what UK has and uh, all of that things. Uh, I do get it, uh, absolutely. I, I like it as well, but. Um, Somehow, like this early 90s boom bap is something that just talks to me. But I listen to it. But I, what I do is something else. I don't know. I just, it's, it's weird, weird stuff. Uh, I like to do, you know, uh, when I do my instrumentals, I'm like, well, let's make it, uh, well, you know, strange. <laughs> That's just uh, the aesthetic that I'm going to use. Strange. Yeah, so that stuff. You know, yeah, I have, uh, I've been doing that. I want to say more, but then I start to understand that there will be people who are going to be listening, maybe seeing that, and I just get a little bit stressed about it. Plus, I'm a little bit lazy to talk about it. I mean, I, I, I have have bad eyesight. I don't even know how many minutes I've been talking. I just, eh, what? It? It's been 16 minutes. No, yeah, that's a lot. Should I stop or should I not? Yeah, I don't care. This is my motto. I don't care. I'm this, you know, like this uh, nihilistic person who is in his late thirties. Like <laughs> he's like, it's just, I don't give a shit about anything. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget that this is a video art. It's nothing serious, like it's serious, but nothing serious at the same time. Well, because it's contemporary art. Don't forget about that. So, yeah, take it easy.